Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. About 10 of 8 in the morning. Man. Uh, summer attire. Uh, right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 76 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 25 degrees Celsius, and the humidity is 94%. News it up there. It's, well, I keep saying it. It's Florida summer. It's humid. It's thick air. It's thick air. why July and August are months that I rarely get out of the, of the air conditioning. I don't know that I don't know how anyone would survive down here without air conditioning. I say that and I know that like <laughs> the boys are out in the in the sun well the boys the, the guy, my, my sons and everybody else is out working in this I used to. You just adapt to it. It's hot. But, you know, you, you adapt to it. You, you stay hydrated, You but you have to deal with it. Then you get old and used to being in the air conditioning and you can't go outside at all. So, uh, anyway. I don't know how some of y'all dealing right now I know there's hot weather all over in England Great Britain area it was I think the, the majority of the heat wave is broken there but still very unusual for them and then areas of the areas of, of the United States over on the west coast parts of Canada where uh, it's like, you know, it, it's 102, 104 degrees right now. Well, maybe not right this minute, but uh, they're, get, they're getting that kind of heat during the day, and they're not, they're not used to that. Uh, they don't have air conditioning to, to deal with it. It's not... For the most part, it's not as humid. But that's just for the most part. There are areas of the West Coast that are humid. Maybe not as humid as Florida, but they're humid. And then you add in the heat. The heat's the killer. Like it feels... It's 76 degrees right now. You really don't do a feels like... Uh, when it's that cool um, but it does have, it does have some impact you know it feels it probably feels like it's in the mid 80s once it gets into once it gets up into the mid 80s then you start feeling then you start doing the it feels like temperature and that depends on the amount of humidity in the air. So, anyway. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What did I think about talking about for today's ride? I know I had something that popped in my head yesterday that I wanted to talk about. Now, I can't think of it. Uh, far from the course. Oh well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to figure out 
the easiest way to get to to uh, 295. I mean, I've gone several different ways. I could have turned at that last place, which the last to turn, but. That takes me to an entrance that's kind of, it's actually got another traffic light in it. I could go here. I think we're just going to go on up to this next one. I think this is probably a little bit further. In fact, I'm sure it's a little bit further. Than the other way that I usually go, which would bring me out at this traffic light here on the other side of this traffic light, or I would come into this entrance from the other side, and it's a little bit more direct. And one less two less traffic lights so probably I should go the other way I mean it's not going to be much different a half mile maybe a mile at the maximum Really only going because I'm doing two different video views. I'm trying to give the one view at least a little difference. I got plenty of time. Ah. I know it seems like I talk about sleep a lot. <laughs> uh, maybe it's because I'm just getting up or whatever. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, I got... My, I was fighting my eyes last night. Around 10 o'clock or so. And I've learned that if I fight my way through being drowsy, then I really won't go to sleep. I forced my way through the first, you know, like ready to drop off. Then I stay awake and I can't go to I can't go to sleep until early in the morning, two or three o'clock, and that really doesn't work for me. So I've tried to train myself to react when I start yawning. Go ahead, turn everything off, get the bed made up properly, climb in and go to sleep. That's pretty much what I did. It was a little bit after 10 last night when I went to bed. And I've been doing this three hours, three and a half hours in a stretch, which is unique for me because I've been there for, well, for the longest time. I've only been able to sleep two, two and a half hours at a time before I have to get up and use facilities or whatever. Late in the past couple nights it's been three, three and a half hours. And last night that's about what it was because it was a little bit after two when I woke up the first time. So five the next time. And then the alarm went off at at uh, 7.30. So altogether, I've got eight hours worth of sleep. But still, you fight those cobwebs in the morning trying to actually wake up. Uh, I did something the other day, I don't remember if it was, I think it was to my daughter. Need my coffee in order to make my coffee. Kind of like I used to need my glasses to find my glasses. If I lost my glasses, 
I was done. I could, you know, I, I could only see like a, a foot in front of my face. So my glasses weren't where they were supposed to be. It took me a, a while to find them because I was damn looking at everything. Uh, but I'm like that trying to make coffee. Like this morning, rinsing the, rinsing the, cup, the coffee cup out. And trying to get, you know, filling it up to make to make coffee. It's like uh, watching myself move in, in slow motion. Anyway. I am hoping to get another video out today depending on when I can get it all together I had an idea in my head on this one uh, painting I, I, I did and I was thinking I was going to put it out there it was going to be a, a backdrop in the van and uh, now the van's not working, so I gotta come up with another another idea. I'm still hoping it's gonna be an easy fix on the van. I don't know, but anyway, I think I'll be able to pull it off at the at the daughter's house. It won't be. It's not going to be what I had in my head, so it won't be the same, but it'll work out. Try to think about around my house. The only wall I have big enough to display it is the wall where I painted it, and that's in the hallway, and you can't, <laughs> there's not enough room to, vid to film it. So, uh, one of those. Between a, between a rock and a hard place. But, like I said, I think I'll be able to get it done here today. Depends on how, I can, how quiet I can keep the, keep the boys and the dog. An odd place for a record to be parked. I know there was something else I wanted to talk about. It's niggling in the back of my head. But it won't come, won't come forth. Oh, one thing is, I had put out uh, on Facebook that I was looking for a, you know, for the, the book It by Stephen King. And it, I had it out there for probably two weeks or so. And then I went and bought that copy Sunday, I guess. Yesterday I got a message from a, a local friend that she had found me the book. Uh, I didn't say that I'd already found one, but um, I'll go pick it up later today. And I guess it's kind of a good thing because the other, the other Jeep, the other uh, ten-year-old Grand Brad, blah, 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 you'll get it out, Doc. The other ten-year-old, they're they're really really close in age. They do a lot together. Anyway, he expressed some interest in reading the same book that his cousin is reading. They do a lot of the same stuff together. So I'll get him the book. I don't know that he'll be as into it as the as the other one, but I said something to the to the girl, to, well, the girl, the lady at uh, 
used bookstore the other day, so I wanted to donate to the uh, local reading, uh, to the local county reading program. And uh, at that point, I mean, I, I spent quite a bit of money on that book, except more than I've ever spent on a book. But it's all you know, no, no, not not today. That's actually what this is. This is for this is for you know a local ten-year-old. It's not that they're not that they're needy. You know, some families can't afford books at all. And that program is great for that. But like I said, they're not they're not needy. Neither neither of the, the grandkids need need anything. You know? So and I seldom buy them things like this, like a book or toys or stuff like that. So if they express a real interest, then I will. But anyway, that's basically what I what I told the lady behind the counter. You know, that's more or less what this is for is for a local local student. Again, not the not the needy type, but same difference. A student is a student. Try to promote them. Try to promote their reading skills. I mean, they've got reading, they've got reading skills, but most of the time they're, they're buried in that electronic stuff, you know? So, try to encourage the actual reading reading. Y'all are looking out at the, the windshield view. This is the the one turn that's really bad. If you see the other stop sign up there in the van, I have to come up to it from the other direction. I go like where that pickup truck just went. I go and approach that traffic light or that. that Turn that stop sign. I don't have the stop sign there, but I have to make that really weird left hand turn. Because I use the other stop sign, I can't see out the right window. Anyway, I don't know if I can describe that or not. But we are at the end of today's journey. I'll be pulling over up here to turn the cameras off, but. Uh, appreciate y'all going along for the ride. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that would be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We have promise our next breath. I'll we'll see you all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. It's watching, y'all. Ah. Bye bye.